Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday to you. I pray that you are doing well today, um, that you are up and ready to face the day. Uh, let's see here. I want to get to my page to make sure I'm in the Facebook group before I get started. Let's see here. Try to get it to pop up. This takes the longest of everything, just making sure that I'm here, huh? <laughs> so I can see your comments. Good morning. Hi, Katie. How are you? I hope you're well this morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. All righty. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we are using the BLESS method. We use this every morning um, with being able to do our devotionals. And the BLESS method, if you, if you are new to the group, you can find it in the post right at the very top of this, um, this Facebook group. It's under the featured section. And you just want to read the article that says um, how, to, how to make a faith journal and or what is a faith journal. Excuse me. That's the word for it. Um, that And it tells you all about the BLESS method. All right. Um, so the BLESS method, starting out with the B for the BLESS is... Um, is the Bible scripture verse. And today's scripture verse is John 1, 12. And it says, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. The L in the blessed method is listening for God's voice. So if you'll please pray with me, Heavenly Father, I pray that as I read and meditate on this verse, that you will open my mind and open my heart to the truth that it holds. Help me to see how it applies to my life and give me the courage to live out the principles that it teaches every single day. Amen. All right, so the next, good morning, Melinda. So the next part of the blessed method is the E and that is exploring the history of the verse um, and finding out who wrote it, uh, when and to what audience, um, who the key people were. So the, the, this verse, of course, was written by John, the apostle, and he wrote it sometime late in part of the first century. And he was most likely writing this to both the Jews and the Gentiles just to help to give them a deeper understanding of who Jesus is, um, the significance of his life and his death and his resurrection. The next part of the blessed method is this S, the first S for studying and savoring. And this is pulling out the key words of the Bible, um, of that scripture. And I pull those out and then I apply them to the way that the, it means in the scripture. So studying and savoring keywords for this scripture, the first one I picked was receive. And receive means to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It means to welcome him into your life, acknowledge him as the Son of God. It's an action that requires faith and belief in Jesus. The next word I picked was believed. And that also means to have faith in Jesus. It implies trust and confidence in his teachings. And it also means to accept him, to receive him. The right. The right is a, a privilege of being a child of God. It's, it's a privilege for all of those who believe in him and trust in him. It means that those who do receive him are, are part of his family. They're part of his eternal life. They'll always have eternal life. And then the last phrase I picked was children of God. And that refers to that spiritual relationship between believers in Jesus and God. And it means that those who receive him are adopted as children of God and have access to all those blessings and privileges that come along with being part of his family. And then the last S is summarizing and sharing. So gosh, when I think of this, the first thing I think of is what a privilege to be a child of God. Do you realize what an honor that is? When, when we receive Jesus and believe in his name, we're given the right to be part of his family and to have eternal life. We get to experience all that love, all that grace, all those blessings that come with being a child of God. And it means that we have sisters and brothers in Christ who share in our faith and our journey with us, just like this group. We're able to support each other. We're able to grow together in our understanding and the love of God. That also means that we get to approach God with the confidence of a child. Just like when a child 
goes to its parents or its grandparents to come up with us and they they come to us with trust and faith that's the same trust and faith that we can go to for god for anything that we want he wants the best for us always i pray that you'll continue the daily steps that you've been taking here in the group and in being in the word and building that stronger relationship with god and never ever forget God's love for you. Amen. <laughs> All right. So um, Bible cross reference. If you're following the blessed lesson, I like to do a little Bible cross reference at the end of the, of the chapter. Um, and the, a couple of the ones that I picked were um, Galatians, um, oops, upside down, Galatians 3, 26. And it says, so in Christ, you are children of God through faith. Uh, 1 John 3, 1 says, so what great love the father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. And first John five, one says everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves the father loves his child as well. And the last one I picked is Romans eight sixteen that says the spirit. Oh yeah. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Wow, pretty strong verses, aren't they? I, I just love finding out what the different um, uh, different scriptures are that are, are cross-referenced in this. All right, let's see here. Hi, Teresa, how are you? Um, yeah, it started. It started right at uh, 9, 9 a.m. your time. Yep, I usually am pretty prompt on getting on here. Sometimes what you need to do is just... Um, um, just hit refresh until it comes up in the Facebook group, or you can go on the Facebook group and you can click on the links to um, be notified. Um, it says if you click on there's three little dots at the top of the page. And if you click on manage notifications, it'll, it should notify you when I come live. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am Eastern time. So I'm not sure if you're, if what time zone you are, but that's what time it comes on. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're watching this on replay, um, please type in replay so we know that you've seen it. Like the video so that Facebook knows that you've seen it and it pushes it to the top so others can see it too. Thank you so much for joining me. I pray that you have a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.